Well, good morning, everyone. I'm out, um, out exploring a new creek today. Completely new to me. I haven't been here before. Been on my list for quite a while, but it's um, looks very promising already. This oh, you can't really tell, but this is all diggings all through here. Massive big trenches and holes. So yeah, massive, another massive big hole, this thing. So, I know there's gold here. We'll just have to find something. She's bloody thick though. <laughs> so I'll just stick to the creek today. And um, plenty of bedrock already, so we'll get stuck in and get cracking and see what we can get. Hey, well, I've been going for a little bit now. Um, I've got my first target down here. I've already cleaned a few rocks and stuff out. It's only small, but it's down in the bloody water. <laughs> so I'll um, fiddle around and get this one out, and then I'll turn the camera back on once I've got it in the scoop. So, all right. Well, I don't know how long it's been, but um, I still can't seem to find that one. It's bloody, there's a crevice that goes down underneath that way. Unless it's a bloody hot rock, I'll come back to it later with the bloody chisel and sledgehammer. I'll keep going, we're just wasting time. Well, I left that creek ages ago. It was, uh, wasn't was overly exciting. I think one of, the, one of the old boys I know, he's been out there quite a bit the last few years and I think he's picked it clean. Um, so I'll come back, get a big, massive big loop, bit of exploring, bit of fall driving. I'm just out doing some mullet piles at a, a spot I haven't been to for quite a while. It's, oh, it's bloody, it's pretty thick in here. This is actually, this is actually good. <laughs> all the um, undergrowth is actually starting to die off a bit because of all the dry last couple of years we've had bugger all rain and this is normally quite damp and wet as you can see it's all all uh, tree ferns and stuff so it's it's uh, normally got quite a bit of moisture but the uh, the old tree ferns are struggling to grow so, um, so I'm just cleaning up all the leaf litter around underneath the tree ferns and um, I've just got a nice little signal down here I did get one piece of junk, uh, an old nail or something over there, but gotten quite a bit of gold from around here. Takes a lot of work, but it's here. So um, I'll get this in the scoop and I'll come back. All right. Well, well, that paid off. So you gotta move shit around here, the bloody, to get anything. It's so thick. Come on, Lucas. Yep. One nice little piece.
Come on, camera. Doesn't want to focus today. Only a little piece, but I got one for the day. Finally. Oh, it's quite muggy actually too, which is uh, takes it out of here a bit more. All right, I'll keep pushing along. Right, back again. I um, I just cleared. I don't know another couple of couple of meters worth of leaf litter and shit off. And you see all this this nice old old wash. Broken down quartz, or water-worn rocks. That used to be a massive, it's really deep in some spots. These are actually only quite shallow. This bed, the bedrock must be um, pretty shallow, but back over over that way, a few hundred meters, there must be a big, deep hole. Um, and there was, I actually picked up, the bigger gold I've picked up off the Mullix was over there. Um, we've got another nice little target. Another nice little target just here, which I wouldn't have gotten if I didn't clear all this stuff. Oh, there we go, look at that one. Beautiful. It was only a last minute decision, I was coming past this spot too and I was like, oh, should I drive all the way down in there or not? So, I'm glad I did. But yeah, as I said, pretty hard work. Got a rake, oh, kind of, I didn't bring me rake with me today, but you need to rake, detect, rake, detect, rake, detect, and just keep shuffling forwards and putting stuff behind you. And, and um, yeah, with a, it's here, you just gotta work for it <laughs> very hard. <laughs> Alright, I'll get stuck in. Alright, next little uh, couple of meters again. Next little section clean, and we have a target down behind that tree there. Just here at the base of this one. So that last one, throw out one, was just over there, over here in the good material. You can see all the rocks. Here's these all water worn river rocks. There's another big one. That one there next to my backpack. That's so like almost as big as my backpack. That's how big the river system was. That went through here. It's halfway up the side of the bloody hill. The actual creek now is 500 metres or more that way. So, I'll, um, I'll get this one out and I'll come back. Right, I got it down to a little bit in the scoop. Just a little one. See, that's how you often you'll often find it like this in here. You get just get one little patch. And it's just bloody everywhere. Just another little one. Probably point point one or point two, something like that. It's alright, at least I'm getting some colour. 
All right, still going. Just keep it on slowly shuffling forward a few meters at a time. And where was it? Oh, it's up here. That one sounds pretty good. All that, there was a whole heap of stuff. Yeah, I'm in mean, a bit of a hole here. Um, there's a whole heap of bloody rust and shit. So, I got all that out, finally. So there's nothing, no nuggets hiding in amongst it. Sometimes there is. But that one sounds very good. So I'll get that one out. Well, just a ledge up. Alright, keep moving. Alright. Just on, uh, still scooting along, just as I did have, I don't know, there was a really nice target over there, but it just bloody vanished. So I reckon it might have been mineralisation. Unless it was that small on the surface, and I flipped it on the side somewhere. But it's just, it's bloody gone. But, there's a little target down here. Sounds alright, unless it disappears again. <laughs> oh, I got that target out. It's this uh, this rock, but it's um, it could be. I'll take it home and give it a give it a scrub and maybe a crush. But um, I'd say it's just a hot rock. They're very hot out here. Very very hot. But we'll see. That rock the other day. Never know, there could be a bit of gold stuck to this one or so I reckon I might pack it in. A bit worn out. Doing this extra work. I'll um, cruise on out and then I think a couple of mates are camped out somewhere back back down the road somewhere so I might catch up with them and and um, Say good day and see how they're going. I think they were just sluicing or high banking or something. So um, I'm gonna catch up with them and I'll clean up the nuggets and chuck some weights up when I get home. Alrighty. forgot about this um that hot rock that i got which turns out it is a, is just a hot rock you'll see the get that in there it's a bit hard this bit hard to see just full of deep purples and whatnot and yeah she's pretty pretty rich in uh, minerals There's loads of this stuff out, out around here though, loads of it. So, no gold in that one. Alright, what we'll see is, um, hopefully I can get out, I might get out during the week for another midweek trip. <laughs> 